I watched Ghost House. Should you? Hello and welcome to Rotted Review of the Day, and today I'm looking at the 2017 movie Ghost House. And this was not one that I enjoyed. I'm going to just get that straight out. If uh, you're looking for a recommendation, this is not one. Uh, This is a spoiler-free review, as always, and there's going to be a spoiler-filled deep dive discussion video that will accompany this one. But I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the categories. As always, five different categories, each category worth up to 20 points for a total possible score of 100 points. And the first category is the plot. Did this movie have a plot? I, somewhat. Uh, a couple that are uh, you know, happily in love, a white American couple, go to Thailand and have a vacation there and they come across the mythos of ghost houses which are you know kind of ornate houses that are in front of buildings and uh, they're designed for the ghosts of you know roaming the realm to take up residence so that they are happy in there and they stay out of your house and they wind up in a situation where they desecrate one and now uh bad things are happening there just wasn't a whole lot about this that i liked if i could describe this movie in terms of a horror mystery the six major questions of who and when where how is how that's the that's the premise that the movie is following how did this happen how do we get out of it how does uh how how do the rules work so that we can escape this curse and that's ultimately where the plot follows is how do we shed ourselves of this and move on with our lives happily the problem with it is the how was very easy to figure out um you know anybody with half a brain that's following the plot and the situations that the characters are winding up in they know exactly how to fix this it pretty much spells it out but the characters wander through the movie dumbfounded about it and it always leaves them five dozen steps behind you the audience member and it just becomes terribly uninteresting you just want to scream at your screen you know <laughs> do this because clearly it's this (laughs) and uh it just becomes frustrating in that regard and then they wind up going down a totally different route i I can't really get into it without getting into spoilers so i will be discussing it in the deep dive um but just totally unimpressed nothing about the characters nothing about the situation the antagonist the backstory the resolution Um, even the setting, as much as I really love Asia, uh, and one of my favorite parts of Asian horror movies is the gorgeous settings there. It, even then it didn't make, you know, Thailand look a compelling place to visit. Um, just nothing about it was appealing visually, mentally. So I gave it a four out of 20 for the plot. You know, it was coherent. I could follow it. It wasn't, uh. You know, it it didn't drag on and on and on, but it certainly wasn't impressive. The intent, I get the impression that they wanted to make a Western horror film that had Asian horror influences in it and took up that style of more spiritual haunting kind of thing than uh, Blood and Gore Fest. But they wanted it to be scary. They wanted it to be, you know, terrifying in its own way with quality jump scares and quality tension and it just wasn't um i gave that six out of 20 and honestly that may be a little generous but i said it it's locked in the acting was not great (laughs) you had two principal characters uh the man and the woman and the the acting there was just very very unbelievable stiff wooden uh 
the dialogue was delivered just it, it just wasn't good at all the best parts of this were supporting characters um you had a uh thai native that was kind of their guide and he was very enthusiastic and it was played by michael s new who played the character of gogo and i thought that he was actually pretty entertaining uh, even if uh, a bit <laughs> stereotypical but at the same time he's also pandering to american tourists and i thought that that worked well um and then mark boone jr played reno who you may remember him. I don't know if you do or not. He has been in a few things, but uh, uh, Batman Begins, he plays the crooked cop. You know, what, your kids don't like falafel? He's in this. And I thought he did a good job. He he provided a bit of um, sinister comic relief, and I thought that was pretty decent. So if it weren't for those two characters in there, it would not be getting as high as a six out of 20, but because of them, it is getting a six out of 20. I just, there's no way it's getting higher than that. Technical. Again, there just wasn't a lot. I mean, when you're talking about tourists visiting Thailand, I, I really kind of expect, um, something that is visually appealing, uh, aesthetically captivating, you know, go on the journey with them, you know, even before things start going haywire, you know, appreciate the setting and there just wasn't a whole lot of that. It was, you know, for such a gorgeous country, it was just kind of blah. The characters didn't sell any performances there. They weren't nothing. Uh, and okay. The special effects I thought were fairly laughable. Um, the CG that was in it was kind of, eh, uh, the scares that they were going for, they didn't land. And I think the technical is a big portion of that. The timing of the editing, the timing of the scares, the way that they're presented visually was just not working at all. I gave the technical a 5 out of 20, which leads into the fear quotient, which you may guess it's not great. I gave that 2 out of 20. This movie relied almost exclusively on jump scares, and I can't think of a single one that actually landed for me. Uh, it just wasn't the the timing was bad but there was a fundamental issue with the fear quotient that i am going to be discussing in the deep dive there is a fundamental plot device how they were dealing with the scares that made it fail before it even was attempted that there is no way it could have worked and it was a fundamental core issue but i really can't get into that without getting into spoilers so um I really don't see the need to talk about this movie for a whole lot longer. I have a total score of 23 out of 100 points. I would recommend against watching this movie. If you see it in your queue, pass it by. But that's it for Ghost House. Uh, yeah, I, I, I more look forward to the deep dive discussion where I can actually get into the that fundamental issue there. Um, but look for that. Otherwise, next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that it's good and rotted.